All right, so now let's look at a specific portion of the Kotlin Standard Library, and we're going to do this in two parts. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the documentation, and then we'll import this particular part of the Kotlin Standard Library and have some fun with it. So um, what this is, is this is Kotlin Random, um, and it's actually the second hit here on Google. So we're going to look at package kotlin.random. This is Kotlin Doc, I guess. Java has Java Doc, Kotlin has Kotlin Doc. Um, you'll see it's for the latest version. And you know what is this, right? And, and, and we'll show you how to use this in a, in a minute. Um, this is a package that allows us to work with randomness. Um, and it turns out, you might be wondering, like I'm, I'm going to all this trouble to try to make my code do the right thing. And now you're introducing a whole package in Kotlin that's designed to make it do random things, right? Why is this useful? Well, it turns out that random numbers um, and the ability to generate random numbers are tremendously useful, uh, both in a variety of algorithms um, and in a variety of other ways, in practical ways in computer science. Now, what Kotlin provides, what pretty much every other uh, programming language provides is not true randomness. It's something known as pseudo-randomness. Um, it's, uh, it's actually an algorithm that generates a sequence of values that has certain properties of actual random numbers, right? In terms of, you know, uh, uniformity, for example. So the probability that you get any particular number is pretty much evenly distributed over the entire space of output, right? So if it's between one and a million, you know, there's a one in a million chance of getting every number every time you draw, right? Um, you can imagine uses for this. So for example, if I wanted to shuffle my music playlist, um, I could use randomness to choose a spot for each song and lay them out, and now I've got a random playlist, right? So there's one example of, of the ability to use randomness. And there's actually, you know, some places. Um, so for example, here's another uh, place where, where we use randomness. Um, when you're on the help site and you need help, there's actually a notification that pops up for the staff. Now here's the thing, if we pop up the notification at the same time, what happens is that two or three staff members, because the staff typically are there waiting for you and sometimes they're, you know, just, there aren't enough students to help, so they're kind of you know, bored, but they're really eager to help you. Um, if we pop up the notification at the same time, what will happen is two or three or four people will sometimes enter the same room. That's okay, but it's sort of awkward, at least at first. Um, so what we do instead is essentially there's a, we, we pick a random amount of time to wait. I think it's between like zero and eight seconds or 16 seconds or something like that. And each, uh, each staff member has this random delay before they see the notification with the idea being that, you know, if one of them sees the notification first, they get in the room and then the others um, actually won't see it or won't enter that room because they can see that somebody's already there, right? Um, and so this is another place where we use randomness. And again, this turns out to be surprisingly useful. So uh, there's a bunch of different, you know, the, the, the main building blocks here are different methods that we use to generate different types of random information. Um, and, and mainly these two up here, ints and logs. Um, and, you know, you can imagine, well, how would I generate a random string? Well, we could talk about how to do that, right? There's actually a method that you could create using this to generate a random string. Um, but at some level, if I can generate random numbers, I can typically generate all the other types of random things that I might want to just by writing a little bit more code. So the, the main methods here that we're going to focus on are uh, me methods to generate ints, random ints, and random logs.